Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Thursday, March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, comes to us from the Gospel of Luke. We're going to be looking at chapter, Luke chapter 13, verses 1 to 9. At that very time, there were some present who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. He asked them, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 who were killed when the tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No. I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish, just as they did. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? He replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it, and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. Here Jesus speaks of judgment. Unless you repent, you will perish. It sounds like a threat, but it's also a fact of existence. The truth is we are perishing each day, brings us closer to the grave. In a culture that barely acknowledges death, Jesus' words are a stark reminder. No one leaves this world alive. Our only hope is to repent, to turn around, to turn back to God. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I, I don't want to. It, it means changing my mind, admitting I was wrong, letting go of my strategies to keep suffering at bay. I want to continue to pretend I have the power, the power to control the outcome. But the truth is we are dependent on God for food, for breath, for forgiveness. And like a barren fig tree that gets a second chance, we have the opportunity now to turn to God. Will we take it? Let us pray. God of mercy, we confess we are powerless against the forces of death. We repent and turn to you. Save us. Forgive us. Heal us. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Bye now.